Share this with England head coach Trevor Bayliss says his players were like deer in headlights as they were bowled out for 58 by New Zealand in the first test. In their first test match since losing the Ashes 4-0 in Australia, England slipped to 27-9 before being dismissed in 20.4 overs at Eden Park, Auckland. The sensational collapse was England's sixth lowest total in test history. It was like deer in the headlights. Someone sneezes and everyone caught a cold today. Bayless said. At one point England had looked on course for their lowest ever test total and to break a record that had stood for over 131 years. Somerset bowler Craig Overton saved England from that ignominy with an unbeaten 33 as only he and opener Mark Stoneman, 11, made double figures. Left arm seamer Trent Bolt took 6-32 and new ball partner Tim Southey 4-25 as five batsmen made ducks, equaling an England record. I can't explain it. We were nowhere near good enough, Bayless added. The New Zealand bowlers bowled well but we batted equally badly. It swung around a bit but nothing different to any other first day of a test match. The ball was pitched up and swinging and we were caught behind the crease for a lot of dismissals. Trying to get forward and negate the swing would have been the way to go. Analysis by former England spinner Graham Swan. On BBC Test Match Special the players will feel utterly embarrassed by their performance today. Sometimes it just goes horribly wrong and there's nothing you can do about it. It was a horrific day from start to finish. New Zealand bowled well but England's technique has been found wanting. They didn't get out of their crease and they didn't cover their stumps. In all of my time playing and watching cricket I've never quite witnessed anything like this morning. The first few overs passed without any incident and then it was just a snowball of England wickets. Share this with.